Police say she was strangled. Police have interviewed hundreds of people, but still need a little more information to make an arrest. Chris Costa spoke with state police and Ashley's friends and family. And Chris, where does this case stand right now? Well, Amanda and Shannon, police say they've gotten tips on this case within just the past two months, a handful of which they've been able to act on. What they need to crack this case is for someone who has intimate details of the case to come forward. She was a kid. She was a good kid with a great heart. Even the kindest of teenagers can be a little defiant. 15-year-old Ashley Willette was no different. There was a time she got stranded in Massachusetts, which she wasn't supposed to be there. Her she uncle, Dennis LaHoulier, took care of her yeah. even when she made a mistake. She used to call me all the time for rides, except for that night, um, which kind of bugs me and has for 22 years. That night, February 9th, 1999, Ashley had gone to the home of her friend, Aaliyah Page, for a party and sleepover. At some point, she left the home to go visit other friends, two brothers, Stephen and Daniel Sanborn, fellow classmates at Thornton Academy. At the time, police said Daniel was the last person to see Ashley alive. During the initial investigation, police searched the Sanborn family's home and one of their cars, but police have not publicly named any suspects. In this particular case, we have a great deal of persons of interest, a few suspects um, that, that are probably more of a higher priority for us. Police have focused on a window of time between 12.30 a.m. when Ashley arrived at the Sanborn home in Saco and 4 a.m. when a driver found her in the middle of Pine Point Road in Scarborough. That's a three and a half hour time span. Those are the two locations we are continuing to concentrate on and the time span that we're working on. But how she got to Scarborough, when she was killed, and why? all remain a mystery. At the police station. Back in 1999, one. Ashley's father tried to explain how the family was coping. It's just been a nightmare, and, and there's no way to describe it. Two years after her murder, Ashley's father died of a heart attack, with no answers, only theories. But even then, he was asking the public to share what they knew about that evening. I appeal to everybody, if, if, if it's children, if you know anything, please come forward. 22 years later, the same plea but with new urgency from the police and Ashley's family. And there's people out there that know what happened and say nothing. They probably have kids of their own right now. What if this happens to one of your kids? You're gonna want somebody to say something? Wait 22 years and tell me how you feel. There is a $20,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. And coming up, we're going to tell you about the tips that state police are investigating and some new tools they're using to help hopefully make an arrest.